Hi there, um, my name's James and today I'm going to talk about my uh, weird and I guess somewhat atypical journey into studying medicine. Um, I'm currently a third year medical student studying through Deakin University here in Geelong um, and when I first left school, like so many kids, um, I did a science degree um, through the University of Melbourne. Um, as wonderful as some parts of that degree were, um, I definitely felt a sense of directionlessness or uh, jadedness um, in that I, I hadn't found my thing. I hadn't found the thing that I wanted to do with my life um, and I hadn't found an area um, that really interested me. Um, when I start, studied anatomy, um, that's when I, I first sort of recognized that, that, that thing that I really enjoyed um, and I looked into um, how I could um, practice, continue to learn about, talk about teach others about um, anatomy. And I, I guess because uh, at the time I was living with an osteopathy student, um, I started to really enjoy and become interested in that area. Um, so I went to RMIT and um, studied osteopathy for five years. Um, I look back at, at um, studying that um, and I really see that as almost the beginning of my journey into medicine because um, very early in my um, osteopathy degree, I started to really become interested in, in medicine. And I guess that prospect of um, maybe I could be a doctor hadn't really entered my mind until then. And from there, my interest grew and grew and grew. Um, I would always want to learn more about um, pathology and um, so many of the things that were, um, I guess, beyond the course um, that, that I was doing in osteopathy. Um, when I finished osteopathy, um, I knew that I wanted to apply for medicine. I, I worked for a little bit as an osteopath, um, and I'm really grateful for that time because I think that some of the things that I learnt um, working with patients um, is really contributing to the, the sort of doctor that I know I'm going to become um, and uh, really having a, a good understanding of the importance of longitudinal care, building therapeutic relationships with, with patients and um, recognizing the importance of uh, patient-centered care. So I'm really grateful for those things. Um, I chose Deakin truthfully because I, I wanted to be in Victoria. Um, my partner is in Victoria as well, so we wanted to stay close to our families. Um, I didn't really know anything about Geelong, um, but... Um, we moved here and um, Geelong life's been really nice. I've been really happy with the Deakin curriculum. I think the staff at Deakin are, are really fantastic, very supportive um, and very receptive to, to bettering the course. I think the curriculum is, is really holistic in the sense, in the best sense of the word. Um, and then there is a lot of, um, there's a great focus on the importance of um, the public health context, um, understanding how to be a, um, an ethical, well-rounded, um, and and uh, biomedically sound um, medical practitioner. So I'm I'm really really grateful for that. Um, I haven't come to the end of the course yet. Um, I'm finding third year really challenging, um, very satisfying, but but really challenging as well. Um, it's this feeling of um, being perpetually overwhelmed and um, swimming upstream a lot of the time, um, but. Sometimes it's really nice to look back and, and see how far you've, you've come. And even um, insofar as uh, April, I feel like, uh, you know, my, my knowledge has come a long way. Um, so that's been really, really nice. I've also learned, um, well, I guess I, I've, I've come to really understand this year that there's always so much more to learn um, and looking at the different Looking at um, all these different people who are at very different points in their career in medicine, um, everyone has has more to learn, and um, to, regardless of the stage that you're at in your career, and I think that's that's pretty satisfying as well. There's there's always going to be a challenge ahead. Um, if you're considering studying medicine, um, the only advice that I would really have is um, it, it, it really think carefully about it because as fantastic as studying medicine is, it, it does take a really big impact on your life. Um, financially for those four years being a full-time student, um, there are times when you get really stressed and um, just feel like you're swimming upstream is, is, is too challenging. Um, but all of, those, all of those really rough patches always kind of get better. Um, and it is very rewarding. Um, 
I hear a lot of people say that they don't think they're smart enough to study medicine. Um, I actually think it's a lot more about the hard work. Um, I, I don't, I don't have a great belief in, in natural intelligence. Uh, I think if you, if you work hard, um, you, will, you will be a good doctor because medicine needs um, people of all different types um, to cater to the, the community that we ultimately serve. So, um, yeah, if, if medicine is, is what you want to do, I, I say absolutely go for it. Um, get the GAM sat done. It's, it's a horrible test that I would wish on nobody. Um, and I think once you're in medicine, you, you really never look back at that thing. Um, good luck with whatever it is that you choose to do with your life. Um, yeah.